G'day everyone, Envy here and we're back with some more MTG Arena. Today we're playing Black Control in Historic and we're playing something a little bit different. We're playing Best of Three today. I'm dipping my toes in the Best of Three waters as it were because I really, you know those times you make a deck or you play a deck and you think, oh, if only I had another chance to side something in, I would win. Well, here's that chance for that to happen. So, this is a Black Control deck utilizing my favorite god, Tengrid, the God of Fright, in all her glory. So we've got a bunch of sacrificing stuff, a bunch of controlly stuff, and a couple of win conditions. Uh, ultimate win conditions would be going either stealing everything with Tengrid, uh, making your opponent lose everything with Liliana, and then stealing it with Tengrid, or Torment of Hailfire to make our opponent sacrifice all their stuff and or die, depending on if the game drags on for long. So let's go over the deck, what we're playing and why, and then we'll go over the sideboard and we'll explain how the sideboard's working. So first of all, this deck is primarily for game one to fight against creature decks. So we have a lot of removal, a lot of um, uh, making our opponents sacrifice creatures or planeswalkers and so on. And we can side out for a bit more controlly matchup if we go against more control or uh, mid-range decks or, well, really control combo decks. We want to take out those pieces. So to disfigure, it deals two, negative two, negative two till end of turn. Really great because it doesn't destroy. It just makes them lose things. This is one of the ways you can kill gods as well by lowering their um, toughness other than destroying them. Fatal Push gets rid of most small creatures and we can use the revolt ability to remove uh, even bigger creatures. For Thought Seize, for taking out an opponent's hand, making them discard a non-land card. If you have Tengra on the field and you place Thought Seize, you just take something, a permanent, you get that permanent. So Thought Seize is always a solid card. Even though it does have a bit of a steep cost where you have to pay two life, it's still really great. Erebus Intervention is really good because we can gain life from it. We can also exile cards from Graveyard. So if your opponent is playing something, um, this was made back before Uru was um, banned. So um, Uru is no longer in Historic, but you do have uh, Croxa and a bunch of other stuff they can play in the graveyard. So you just want to exile stuff, you can exile a bunch of cards. Two Orgil's Bloodfast. This is a super solid um, enchantment. So this does require you to pay life, but you pay two life and you draw a card. Now this is a just, it's really nice because you can keep doing this multiple times. Um, we don't really get off the last ability, um, but you can transform if you have five or less life and basically you just tap it, sacrifice a creature, and gain their toughness. Um, this can work out well if you've stolen a bunch of creatures from your opponent with 10 grid, you can sacrifice them to gain some life. But Orgel's Bloodfast really helps us against a control matchup where they're not really doing a lot of damage and we need to dig for cards. Since we do have ways of draw of gaining life in the deck, uh, it's not too bad. But we side this out when we go against an aggro matchup. Four Maze Mind Tome, great for the control -y black player because we can scry and we can draw cards. And after four times we've used it, we gain four life, which is really great. Torment of Hailfire uh, forces our opponents to sacrifice things unless they want to lose life, which is great in an endgame uh, condition. One else with Nightmare for getting rid of graveyards and their hand. So three Soul Shatter for removing uh, big ones. This is great for a mid-range deck, a mutate deck, or anything where they play really big creatures. We can make them get rid of them. Extinction Events for removing, uh, exiling everything. Ritual of Soot does the same sort of thing. Destroys all creatures, command cost three or less. And two Vastus Content for exiling creatures or planeswalkers. Uh, Exile is better because they can't get it back. We really don't mind them losing their entire graveyard. And we gain a bit of life in the process, so why not? Three Tengrid God of Fright. We try. We want to play in the Tengrid creature god form. Uh, basically, whenever your opponent sacrifices or discards a permanent card, be it your, by your hand or theirs, we can choose to put that onto the battlefield. So if they do, even if they discard a land, we get a free land, which is pretty good. The lantern side can be great against a control game. If you can get it down... You just force your opponent to either lose life or sacrifice things or discard things. And if you have both on the field, my god, the fun begins. Liliana, because two of the, two Liliana, because we can basically just get rid of creatures. If Tengra's on the field and we have a couple um, of you know uh, zombies, we can just you know sacrifice those zombies to gain all their stuff. But we really just want to um, play Liliana and then really control the board. Get her up to nine, and then just our opponent loses everything, and then we just you know got it from there. And one Ugin, the Spirit Dragon, because uh, all our permanents, apart from Tengrid, are colorless, which is, I mean, just maze one tome. So we really don't, it really affects our opponent more than it affects us. And if we can manage to get 10 off 
more power to us. For the lands, we are running 23 lands, 3 Cabal Stronghold, 1 Castle Loxane, and 19 Swamps. And I've got my Cabal Swamp uh, land. Now let's go for the sideboard and explain what each card is there for, and you can change this for whatever you want, but this is what I'm playing. So, for control matchups, we are playing Duress. Duress takes out non-creature, non-land cards. Uh, uh, basically non creature non land cards so basically anything else it's really great we can either replace uh thought seize with this or if we're going against a deck that has no creatures we can just pull out our disfigures fatal pushes for duresses instead if, if if we start the game with four of these and a couple of thought seize then just your opponent just has a bad day uh, agony remorse removes things from graveyards as well as discarding the elder spell for against planeswalkers two weathered runestone against goblins or anything else that tries to put stuff from the graveyard or library onto the battlefield uh that's why it's here uh cry of the canarium for removing small creatures against an aggro matchup we can pull out uh ritual of soot and put in cry of the canarium or soul shatter davriel rogue shadow uh punishes our opponent in the long game if they have no way of replenishing their hand of drawing cards, we can side him in, because once they're out of cards, we just slowly deal damage to them over time, which is really fun. Two Phyrexian Obliterator for aggro matches up, because this card is just crazily, stupidly fun. Your opponent will run into it, deal three damage to it, or whatever it is. Even if they want to kill it, they have to at least five damage, and they lose five permanents now. This usually ends up being lands. This sets them back because they've lost their lands and now we are ahead and we just have to sacrifice one creature. Thought Distortion for the control matchups. Since it can't be counted, we take their entire hand and they lose everything from there. And another Ugin the Spirit Dragon. If we're going again, something that's not creature heavy, we can drop Liliana for an Ugin or our Torment Hailfire for an Ugin and just start going with that ping damage instead. And that's a deck. It is built for best of three. It's not really uh, configured in its just original form for best of one. So let's go play some best of three ranked, and we'll play one one match. So that's three, you know, three games, and we'll see how we can do with that game. So let's get going. Okay, here we go. Opponent is going first. Since I don't know what they're playing, and I have Maze Mind Tome, we'll keep this hand. I'm not sure what they're playing at, but we'll see. We'll keep our eye out. Red. All right, interesting. Swamp. Pass. I can get rid of it. When it dies... Ooh. Ooh. Here's another one. Now they can attack. So you have to pay mana to get the stuff back. So this is an, oh, this is an aggro deck. Okay, I can I can dig it. Let's scry and see what we can find. No, I don't want that. Nope, 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 no. Nope. That would be an uh, unreasonable amount of things. Now, what do you have, Snowflake? Swing. Lose two more cards. Hmm. Well, the idea is I could scry. I could scry and then I could kill the Gidu Lava Mana and draw. Let's scry. Let's see what we're going to find first. A swamp. I don't need a swamp right now. I do need, however, him to remove something from this field, because it's getting a little crazy. Let's go maze my tome. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Ah, that's beautiful. Um, do I want to do it? No, I don't. I'm perfectly happy with living like this since I can get a bunch of life back later. And when it dies, he really wants that, doesn't he? Because when they die, he can only get one back, and I exile all of them. He'll get a bunch of cards, but it will get rid of everything on his thing. So he's going to get a bunch of cards to his hand. Mm, more for me to take away, I guess. Sure, man. Go for it, dude. He can only get one of them, though. So that's the thing. Now, I'm going to go for odd, obviously. Now, you either get three or four cards, one or the other, but he's going to lose the other ones. So, sure, man. Uh, odd, please. All your other cards got exiled, man. No idea what they were. Doesn't matter. We're gonna scry. Disfigure. Could be good. Could use it. I could Erebus Intervention for two, kill that thing, and then kill something else with Disfigure. Yeah, that'll work. I can live with that. We'll gain some life next turn anyway, so... It's... Oh, okay. Sure, man. Do two damage. Unless he's got three shocks in his hand, which would be really terrible if he did. He got light at the stage. Sure. Rampage ruined. He got shock. Oh, my boy. That was not... That did not go well for us. Sure. Alright, so... Alright, so that's... We lost game one, but he's playing Burn. And he didn't really see what we were playing. Alright, so... Burn is fun. We need to... Get rid of the Blood Fast. Obliterator needs to go in. Uh, Cry of the Canarium. So we're going to take out... A Soul Shatter for a Cry of the Canarium. Mm, Non-creature, non-lamb. I don't feel like this is going to help me too much. I feel like if this is pretty good the way it is. Um, Soul Shadow is not as useful. So let's go with this. Done. And knowing what our opponent is playing, we're going to have to play a little bit more careful. So red aggro. Don't know if he knows what I'm playing. Because I, I want to go on the play. Which is this, is... this is actually just... This is fantastic, honestly. Really solid one. Unfortunately, this is not a black land, so I can't play Phyrexian Obliterator on turn 4 unless I ramp into it. But if he starts off with his thing again, that is going away. So you're not getting that. No, we're not starting that game again. So I'll go with the thing. Maze my Tome. Let's turn. Got me a step. We do have Ritual Soot, which will destroy all these creatures anyway. So depends on what he's playing out. Is he going to do anything? Nope, I am definitely going to scry. Disfigure is a great card. I'm going to keep that. My turn. Play the Cabal Stronghold. Pass turn. We can kill one of his things that pops up. If we want to. Harnoots in the Forged. Oof. It's not enough to kill him. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna go and draw a card. Oh, thought seize is good. All right, that's four lands. Ritual Soot will get rid of him pretty quick. Maybe I do want to go Ritual Soot for this one. He will get one creature out, but if I keep letting him go for too long, it's gonna get bad. So let's get rid of that. He gets one token, sure. If we get a land, we've got Phyrexian Obliterator, which is going to be super solid, because he will just have to not really have a way out of that. I 
I'm gonna go and scry. What do we got? Come on, Cabal Stronghold. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. <laughs> I want to. I want to swamp. We can do an. We can do an upkeep though, so that's pretty good. Let's do an upkeep. What'd you get? Oh, two lands. That is, well, not the worst thing ever. All right, let's go. Scry it up. Come on, swampy boy. Get that land in. What do you got? Fatal push. I can, I can live with fatal push. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's our plan. We're gonna do all the cards. We're gonna first go disfigure on format courier. That's gonna go. He didn't go for it. We're going thought see, see what he's got in his hand. Yeah, Hazard, you're gonna die. You're going away. Bye, man. And pass the turn with that. We will have Fatal Push up, and we can kill that thing if it attacks us. But that thing that really doesn't scare me too much, so I'll let it go. I wonder if he'll go Embereth. He could go Embereth. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. So, you don't even get to use Wizard Lightning. And there you go. That's, that's, that's that sweet, sweet swamp. Go for Rexian Obliterator out. Oh. Good luck trying to hurt it, because you do any damage, you have to sacrifice permanence. So he has a was it? If a source would do non-combat damage, it does that much instead. The question is, do I want to go for a second Phyrexian Blibrant and swing? I do want to go for a second one. Because, I mean, he either keeps Soul Scar Mage up or he just takes the beating. Let's go. Swing. Now, three damage to him, but still not enough to kill Skull Scar Mage. Still did two damage to me, dude. So, you know. That's two lands out. Now we know if he's has it. I am going to block, because either you got something or you don't. S still, you you still sacrifice three permanents, man. I mean... I mean, that's... that's It's ballsy. I'll admit, that's a damn ballsy move. Let's draw a card. Oh, lands. Lands are nice. Now down to two. But I did lose both my obliterators. Alright, can I play it? I can. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So, yeah, you are when... Dies. He's not dying. So you're gone. Let's go and scry. Oh, Erebus Intervention is a good card. Good. Alright, let's go game three. Now... Do I want a Duress? Do I feel like Duress is enough to, to warrant it? I'm thinking, for me... Liliana is good. 
Turn into Hailfire. I'm thinking my 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 game's pretty good. I don't I don't want to don't want to risk it. You know what I mean? No, he's gonna make himself go first, and we're gonna go second. But if we have some removal spells early on, we can. Oof, that's not great. We're gonna mulligan that hand. This is a, a little bit better. I do have disfigure, which will kill his early early plays. So I'm gonna keep the six. Liliana, you go on the bottom. Sorry, <laughs> don't really need you that much right now. Are you gonna start with the thing? Oh, you went Skull Star Mage. Oh, I'm super happy about that. That is a super happiness thing because I don't like it. It's gone. Cool. Feeling good with that. This is his way of beating my Obliterator. Got kill Love Runner. Doesn't have haste. Can't do anything yet. Now uh, we do have Soul Shatter, which is always fun, and Extinction Event. Sure, one damage is alright. What do you get? Another light up stage. You want to play light up stage again? He's going second light up stage. And you got another Labor Runner. They are only a one. Alright, so he's going both. <laughs> oh. Let's let's pass. Let's do it in his turn. When he attacks, we'll make him sack a thing. Then we put a blue ray down and we'll just be in a lovely spot. What do you got for me? You gonna sack that one? Could exile him, but I think we'll do it this way. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. Uh, one, two, three. Lava runner. That's gone. What's the join cost? Three and equip. Got to get killed, that thing. Skull Star Mage annoys me. Very much so. Please equip it. Oh, yes. Fatal Push. A amount costs two or less. Oof. I can do that. And I can do both. Oof. I can do both. Perfect. Obliterator. You're up, my friend. You are a friend. You die, you have to sacrifice five per oh, okay. Sure, man. Indestructible. If he does, he's gonna sacrifice five permanents, it'll be five lands. That puts him at one land. And then I get rid of Hazard next to Sure. This is I mean this is a great this is a great deal. You lose five permanents, man. And then Hazard's gonna get blasted next to Wow. You must be very confident in yourself. Sometimes you just gotta what is wait, what is he? He is even. Sometimes you just gotta exile the evens. That's him gone. There you got one. I mean, when you lose all your lands, it's a pretty tough pill to swallow. What do we got? Something that can destroy him? No, another land. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. 
Wait, he needs to pay. Yeah, see, yeah, that's going away. Goodbye. You get nothing. Uh, let's go and draw a card. What we got? Another main find two. It's one. Faster. Man, you're losing more cards. Yeah. It is. It is what it is, I guess. Bye, Love Runner. Draw a card. Oh, another one. Alright, we'll get to gain four life next turn. We're just going to dig through our deck until we find something great. <sighs> like Tangrid. Now, Tangrid is super solid card. So, let's play Tangrid as an actual Tangrid. Tangrid helps make it better Tangrid. Let's, let's scry first, see what we're going to find. Yes. Draw a card. I'm going to take whatever it is in your hand. That's going to be mine now. All your things belong to me. What do you got? <gasps> I want it. I'm taking it. That's mine now. Nice. That's my that's my Anrex. Go ahead, Snowflake. Scoop, my friend. Oh. What's happening? Oh, he's roping. Oh, thank god. I thought I lost connection for a second. I was a bit really scared. <laughs> yeah, you made a bad idea running into my, um... Phyrexian Obliterator, man. That's just, like, not... Not the smartest move you ever could have made. I'm gonna be 100% honest. You're okay, dude. No, we're gonna rope. We're gonna get salty and rope. No, it's fine by me. I don't know what else you can do with two lands on the field. Tangrid's now in play. Anorax is now on board of the game. We can draw multiple cards next turn, gain some more life, and just stick into it. So it's going to pass to his... He's going to rope. It's going to pass to his turn. He's going to rope. He's going to quit my turn. Goes to his turn again, and he'll lose. How long is this game going for? 20 minutes and 34 seconds. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can smell the salt. I can absolutely smell it. Come on, Snowflake. We're having a fun time, man. Don't, don't be like this, dude. How is he even holding it up? What what priority does he have? He has no cards. He can't even equip Embercleave. He can't do anything. Bromac Courier is a really cool card, by the way. So this is... What is this meant to be? It's red aggro. Red aggro burn. Just not aggro enough for us. Too much. we got too much control. Alright, come on. Your turn now. Alright, opponent's turn, and now he's going to rope, and then we will win, and life will be grand. And we go on to live happily ever after. Is there a one for a saltiness? Angry, emo angry emoji. Go on, you're out of, you're out of, you're out of things. Sweet. Oh, he's held, is he holding up priority? He isn't even drawn. I still have three. My turn. Yes, victory. Worked out for me.
Goody. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we did win a game there at the end. Our opponent did screw, uh, did uh, rope us at the end because they did get a bit salty. Tengrid managed to steal his uh, Anrax, which made him pretty upset. And like I said in the origin at the start of this uh, deck tech, uh, Firex and Ability Raid against an aggro deck just completely destroys them. Even with his Soul, Skull Scar, Soul Scar Mage, he still had to sacrifice a bunch of um, lands, so that really didn't work out well for him. Against an aggro deck, if they lose their lands, they really can't rebuild it, so it gives us a distinct advantage. The deck is a lot of fun. I'm just saying, because the controlling matchup, I love disc discard, and Tangrid really adds to making discard actually a viable way of having a win condition, as, other than just annoying your opponent so they just leave you alone. But anyway, that is the deck for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button, and maybe even consider subscribing to keep up to date with any new decks. I do put out a new video every second day. If you did enjoy me playing a best of three deck as opposed to best of one, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. I, I'm thinking of making more best of three decks. If that's something you guys would like to see, please let me know because I'm happy to just keep going back to best of one if that's what people want. I want to give people what they want after all. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the deck in the comment section below. Any feedback, ways to improve, or cards that I think I may have forgotten to put in, let me know in the comment section below as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now, everybody.